Wishbone? 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 in the backyard the whole time. It's okay, Wishbone. Come on. Huh? We're gonna go for a ride in the car. Oh, ride in the car. Okay, have fun. <gasps> Wait a minute. Did you say a ride in the car? Oh, boy. I love car rides. Road trip! We're going for a ride in the car. We're going for a ride in the car. We're going for a ride in the car. I'll do the cooking, honey. I'll pay the rent. You know you've done me. Oh, Wanda, can you do me a favor? Sure, Ellen. What do you need? Oh, thanks, Wanda. If we wait any longer, we're going to be late. Yeah, Wanda, if we wait any longer, we're going to be late. Late for what, Ellen? Late for what, Ellen? Oh, for an appointment at the VET. The VET? <gasps> oh, no. Is Wishbone okay? Oh, yeah, it's just his regular checkup. Oh, no, no, no. No, I don't think I can go to the vet, Ellen. I feel sick. Wait a minute, what am I saying? I'm really sorry, Wanda. It's just that we're already running late, and I still have to stop for gas, okay. and... Thanks. Ellen! Wanda! <laughs> Say something. Stall for time. Oh, there's a house key underneath the mat. Thanks. Okay. Ellen! <laughs> Wanda! Say something else! <laughs> what? Oh, well, uh, could you let the upholsterer in when he gets here? The chair's all set to go. Okay. And now so am I. See ya. Wanda, help me. Oh, Ellen, how could you do this? I thought you were my friend, but you're acting like an enemy. This is so confusing. Just like the Wars of the Roses, Robert Louis Stevenson used this war as the backdrop for his novel, The Black Arrow published in 1888. The story is set in 15th century England, when the two royal houses of York and Lancaster were at war. In these troubled times, many found it difficult to know who was trustworthy and who wasn't. Young Richard Shelton, the hero of our story, had lost his father and came under the care of a man named Sir Daniel. Richard's new guardian switched sides in the war as often as a chameleon changes color. Was he to be trusted? One group of people claimed to know his true colors. The Order of the Black Arrow. Sir Daniel had turned them out of their homes and had stolen their land. So they banded together and were determined to make Sir Daniel pay for his treachery. I had four black arrows under my belt. Four for the griefs that I have felt. <laughs> Richard Shelton, did you read this penny rhyme? Yes, a bit of doggerel it is. <laughs> That's nonsense first, by the way. The most fun form of poetry, don't you think? Fun? Not when some mad soul accuses me of murder. The murder of your father, to be precise. We suspect Duckworth, that black arrow outlaw. This is a little confusing. It says here, Ye shall each have your own part, a black arrow in each black heart. You accuse them, and yet they're accusing you. As your guardian, Richard, I will myself more fully inform you of these matters someday. Hmm, someday. It's hard not knowing who to trust, but Richard Shelton was about to meet someone who would change his life. You there! Have no fear, I will do all I can to help thee. Good boy. Thank you. Why call me boy as if I were a dog? You are not the elder of us. Prithee forgive me, but I do seek your aid. Then throw me the rope. You call that a throw? May my grandmother could throw farther. What is your name? What are you going? Well, do you bog yourself down often, or is this the first time? Well, since you have things under control here... Please help. If I come not to Holywood, I shall be undone. If you throw not the rope, you shall be undone. That's more like it! You saved my life. I'm called 
John Matcham. I'm Richard Shelton. I can show you the way to Holywood. I thank you, Richard Shelton. What age are you? Sixteen? Nay, I am eighteen. <laughs> You're poorly grown to height then. And you have a girlish hand, John. Why are you bound for Holywood of all places? Isn't that a convent? I seek sanctuary from a man who would oppress me, Sir Daniel. He has kidnapped me and dressed me in these weeds. Sir Daniel? Sir Daniel is a valiant knight. If he knew I meddled in your flight, it would go sore with me. I'm his ward. Poor boy. I too am now his ward. He has money to gain by my marriage. I'll show him. I'm not a bubble to be sold. You <laughs> dare to call me boy again? They have found my flight. I shall be taken. Richard, kind Richard, help me. Come, pick up your nerves, sir, white face. Let's go see who it is before we call them enemy. Come on in. She didn't really tell me which chair. Did she tell you which chair she was talking about? I. It could be that one, but I'm not really sure if that... Well... <sighs> Well, that's a terrible place for that chair. Someone could get hurt. That must be the one. They let the dog sleep in that one. Oh, I just hate going to the VET. I better get an SHOT. Whoa, did you see the size of that rat? Joe, did you see that? Joe! Huh? Oh, hi, Bruno. Shoot up any good minivans lately? <gasps> Is that... <gasps> my chair! That's my chair! Hey, Joe! Joe, they've got my chair! Joe! Take it easy, Wishbone. It's just a checkup. Take it, take it easy! Ellen! 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 My chair! Bruno has my chair! Alan, put the squeegee down! Alan! Oh, I can't believe this! Bail out! Don't worry, my wonderful chair! I'm coming! Look, to Sir Daniel's men. These are friends. Wait. These are the men that hunt me to my ruin. You can't trust them. What? The men of the Black Arrow! I must go help my friends! Are you bound to die? If I cannot help them, then yes, I will stand shot with them! Hey! That's my dagger! Give that back! Stop! You are an untrue companion, John Matcham! You would see all those men die, men I have hunted with and played among! What of Sir Daniel? Would you run to defend a murderer? Rumors say Sir Daniel slew your father. My father would have me defend my men. If Sir Daniel slew him, when the hour comes, my hand will slay Sir Daniel. Until then, I am bound by honor to stand with my friends. If you are bound to stand, then I will stand with you. Well, all right then. Mm, thank you. Ah, I see you've captured the fugitive. Fugitive? Come. We must leave here at once. Indeed. I have some questions for my guardian, Sir Daniel. Gotta find my chair. Gotta find my chair. Chair? Where's my chair? Got to find my chair. I got... Ooh, escargot. Chewy. Gotta find my chair. I... <gasps> Aha! This tire track has Bruno written all over it. When I find him, I'm gonna... <gasps> you, it's the big rat again! Hmm. Kind of weird rat behavior, is it, anyway? Hey, too much sugar in your diet? Great. Bruno's stolen my chair, and now Oakdale's been invaded by mutant rats! Oh, where's the fire, Talbot? Cool. Fire. My dad's a fireman. Your dad's an accountant, Jimmy. Uh, he used to be a fireman before we moved here. You know, all those big forest fires in Yellowstone. Whatever. What's up? Wishbone took off. 
I need to find him or we'll be late for the vet. I have a dog, too. That's nice, Jimmy. Wishbone! I'm good at hunting. My dad taught me. He's a hunter. I thought your dad was an accountant. Uh, yeah, that too. He hunted big game in Africa. You know, tigers and elephants. Wishbone! It's illegal to hunt elephants. Uh, well, that's where you had to stop. Wishbone! My dog's a tracker. Maybe you can help find Wishbone. He's big and smart, and he has a good nose. He's ten times the size of Wishbone. Running! 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 Wishbone! Wishbone! Sneaking. Sneaking quietly, trying not to make too much noise. He's really big. His name is Singus Khan, and he's related to Lassie. Wishbone! Hey, quit that! I'm serious. He's really big. Wait till you'll see him. Chair! It's definitely my favorite perch, all right. Hey, wait, come back! Oh, here we go again. This order of the Black Arrow. I burnt their homes, driven them from this country, and still, they return to ruin me. And you. Let's see how far you run with that drawbridge raised. Get out of my sight! Good men have lost their lives because of your disobedience. Sir, my father fell when I was yet a child. Again, it has come to my ears that he was foully done by. And again, that you had a hand in his death. Come to me with these words when you are grown, and I am no longer your guardian. Until then, you have two choices. Either swallow down these insults, or else leave my protection. The woods are full of my enemies. Go. I will stay. You have stirred my wrath, Richard Shelton. Return to your quarters until I send for you. I am utterly confused. Is my enemy here in the moat house or outside its walls? Who is it? Richard, it is I. John? This house is full of spies. I have heard them whisper. Sir Daniel intends to kill you just as he killed your father. It would seem that you are the only friend I have, John Matcham. Swift, Richard, you must escape. We'll climb down the wall. I know you're in there, Joanna. Why, you're not a John. You're a Joanna. Come, I'll lower you down the wall. They plan to kill you, not me. Richard, open the door, man. Joanna, you have saved my life, and I have saved yours. We have seen blood flow and been friends and enemies. And if I'm about to die, I must say this. You are the best maid and the bravest under heaven. And if I live, I will marry you. I will be back, Joanna. diplomatic approach. Excuse me, sir, but you and your <clears throat> dog have something that belongs to me. And I was wondering if we could just talk about... Hey! 
Hey! Wait a minute! I don't like enclosed spaces! Hey! <laughs> Believe it. Ellen, can you help a guy out? Wishbone, how did you ever get in here? We have to go to... Oh, never gonna find my chair. Come on, Wishbone. It won't be that bad. Joe, I can't stay. I'm so sorry we're late. Oh, we're accustomed to resistant patients. Joe, my chair! <laughs> oh, uh, could you have your mother fill this out, please? Yeah. Joe, I really have a reason for not wanting to be here this time. I promise! My dad and I tracked a rat of wolf once. He was foaming at the mouth and his eyes were wild. He was so mad. Mm. It's okay. You like Dr. Dart, remember? That's not the issue. I love my red chair! Stay, Wishbone. Ugh. I shouldn't be here. This is just like what happened to Richard Shelton. When Richard awoke, he found himself in a strange place. Huh? What am I? The Order of the Black Arrow. This must be their camp. Ellis Duckworth? Have I been captured? Dear lad, you are in a friend's hands that loved your father and loves you for his sake. Come, tell me your story. The leap from the moat house wall must have injured me. I believe I fainted, and then I woke here. So it's true. Sir Daniel killed my father. Join me in the next attack. Between you and me, we shall bring that false-hearted traitor to his death. My heart aches for Joanna. Rescue Joanna as soon as we've gotten our revenge. Nay, as much as I miss my father and dislike his murderer, Joanna is more important to me than revenge. I wish you luck, Ellis Duckworth. The Wars of the Roses had reached the moat house by the time Richard arrived. Whoops! Hello! Oh, hi there. Uh-oh. Are you not Richard Shelton, Sir Daniel's ward? Maybe. Men call me Lord Foxham. I am Joanna Sedley's guardian. I am trying to free her from Sir Daniel. Then, my lord, you are true guardian to the sweetest maid in England. You wear your heart on your sleeve, my lad. I pray you, my lord, yield me the hand of Joanna Sedley, and you will have my gratitude and service until I die. All right, good Richard. Come, fight by my side, and upon my knightly honor, Joanna shall marry you. I am in your debt, my lord. I am not nervous. I am not nervous. I am not nervous. I'm a little nervous. It's okay, Wishbone. Well, hello, Wishbone. How are you today? Perfectly healthy, thank you. <laughs> What's he got, the needle? Oh. All right, big fella. We're gonna listen to your heartbeat. Okay, I just... Whoa! Hey, you think you could warm that thing up first, Doc? Yikes. <gasps> What's that? Is he... What's he... Hey, I... Hey. Uh, look, I'm sure there's a lot of interesting stuff going on in there, Doc, but there is the small matter of my chair. Well, Sears look good. Looks like all he needs is his yearly shot. He really doesn't like this part. I really hate this part! I... <gasps> the needle! Oh, look, isn't there some way we can avoid this? I, I promise I won't go near anyone who has rabies. I know, I'll never go outside ever again! Just please, don't give me a shot! Not one flinch. See, that wasn't that bad. Huh? He already did the, uh... See you next year, Wishbone. Wow! I, I didn't feel a thing! I really didn't! <laughs> I'm no longer Wishbone! I'm Superbone, Dog of Steel! Well, I'd love to stay and chat, Doc, but Superbone is off to fight for truth, for justice, and his big red chair! Inside Sir Daniel's moat house, the battle to rescue Joanna was underway. That's it, men! We have the upper hand! Uh-oh. 
to even the odds a little bit. Yep. has the battle won. Let's leave this place. Oh, Richard. Here we are together once again. Joanna, let's go directly to Hollywood. There we shall be wed. Whether poor or wealthy, famous or unknown, what matters it? Richard, my dear. Ah, oh, it's just you and me and that peasant over there. I... Wait a minute. That's no peasant. You! Come no closer. Well, Richard. Do you make war upon the fallen? You killed my father, and that cannot be forgotten. But I won't hurt you. I'll be neither judge nor hangman. I do carry arms for your enemies, and I will suffer no spy within their lines. Go now! before I call out to the nearest post. Is the arrow... black? It is black. Richard. You took the better part and pardoned. I took the worse, and there lies the clay of mine enemy. Pray for me. Sir, I will pray for you indeed. But if you have so long pursued revenge, and find it now of such a sorry flavor, would you not do well to pardon others? Anger still lives strong within me. But be at rest. Black Arrow flies nevermore. The fellowship is broken. They that still live shall come to their quiet and ripe end. Well, that didn't take long, Wishbone. Thank you, Mrs. Talbot. I'll get my backpack. My dog's not afraid of anything. He's an attack dog. Come on, Joe. One time we have to rescue my chair. trying to break into our house, and he wanted to steal all of our priceless jewels. And my dog chased me. Hi, Mrs. Kid. Mom. Hi, Dinky. That's your dog? It's no dog. It's one of the giant mutant rats. Jimmy, I can't believe your mom caught it. Tell her to be careful. He may have friends. Bruno! If he's here, my chair's here. Come on, Joe. Is that our chair? Of course, it's my chair. I'm gonna put a big sign on this thing. Do not ever take Wishbone's big red chair. I guess Wanda sent the wrong one. I'm so sorry, Wishbone. Sorry, Wishbone. Don't worry. We'll get this mix up straightened out. From now on, this chair is off limits to all big mean Dobermans and little bug-eyed mutant rats and cats and anything else on four legs that's not me doesn't go on this chair ever. Robert Louis Stevenson's book, The Black Arrow, is action-packed. And that took a pack of dogs. Just like human actors, I have stunt doubles who bound into action with their special skills. Here's Phoebe. She's an expert swimmer. Bear is eager to jump into any task. Scale new heights and leap for a good cause. Slugger springs into action for a battle scene. And Shiner is kind of a ham, so he sits in for me when I'm filming on another set. I couldn't do the show without my talented stunt doubles. And I still add my own best tricks, like rescuing someone from the bog. After all, 
I am the star. See ya!